opposed, seeing none, motion carried. And thank you, Ms. Flick. Obviously, obviously it was an energized meeting, Andrew. Next item up, 8840 East Side Road Development Variance Permit Deferred Consideration DVP 00423. Pardon me, and the end further. Okay. Do we have a seconder? Councilman Hall. Ms. Flick, do you want to talk about this or see questions? I see any lights on? Okay. Mr. Squire, go ahead. There seems to be an awful lot of requirements on this one, like significant amount of requirements for the scale of the project. I mean, <clears throat> to require a civil engineer to be engaged to ensure that the pre-development runoff is maintained and that the 100 year storm runoff is all main like it just seems like a lot of cost for the uh, the developer um, and that there's a QEP qual qualified environmental professional that needs to be there um, during the duration of the construction. I mean, and you can't take trees out in between uh, March and August because there might be a migratory bird. It's almost hunting season for Pete's sake. Like, I, I just, I just wonder. Like, did we? I mean, to me, it's like this site isn't on the lake. It's, 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 it's not within. There's no right. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is there a riparian area around? Like there, there, there's a sensitive ecosystem on the top of the site, but I mean, you know, we've done houses on the lake in the riparian area that don't seem to have quite as much. Just seems like an awful lot of consulting fees that this person is going to have to uh, arrange and maintain. Um, I'm just just curious if. Like, is this going to be the new norm, or is this? Uh, Mr. Broderick, or Mr. Strength, can you talk a little bit about this site? Uh, we've arrived at this because of a number of reasons. Maybe we could get a thumbnail on that. Um, I, I can fill counsel in from certainly the planning and uh, policy point of view, and, and Mr. Strength can speak to the drainage and the... Uh, um, hydrology. Uh, so the, the site is out in the landing. It's an existing lot out in the landing area um, on the upper part of East Side Road, above Oakland Landing Road. It's a uh, treed uh, hillside. Uh, environmentally, a, a large chunk of the property is in the, in the red area, which is the highest environmentally sensitive area. Yellow, medium, green, lowest. Uh, we did the variance is, is specifically about developing our lands over 30%. That's the approximate location of where uh, uh, Mr. Bogard uh, was planning on building the house. I've uh, been working with the owner for, for a long time. He has cons consulted many consultants, uh, became various consultants on the site. Uh, there is a, a water feature uh, that comes down through here, and this area in general has a history of, of drainage concerns for the area and Ed can speak to uh, some of those things but the, the original recommendation was to have to allow development to support the 30 percent plus slopes provided there is a professional backup and oversight uh, on the site there are there are quite a few uh, requirements strength on the drainage issues yes your worship um, there is some groundwater in the area, and it's uh, you know it's seasonally just like a lot of ones. So in the springtime, especially if you get a heavy snowpack, you're going to have uh, a lot of water moving through at times of the year. And uh, 
So basically, that's why we need to have, as part of the um, recommendations, is to have a civil engineer and, and other professionals reviewing it, ensuring that they build the house correctly such that they don't have problems. And that's that was the deferred part as well, was to ensure that was carried on through for the septic field. So that has been provided by the uh, by their team of professionals that we have now seen that. And basically it's when they go to start building in there, they have to make sure that they deal with it properly. We've talked to the uh, building inspectors about this issue with the groundwater and they're, they're well aware of, of the requirements that they would like to see relative to building a house where we know there is groundwater. Because this isn't the only place in town where they've had houses go in where there's groundwater issues. Uh, so one question that I've got, Mr. Strange, has, has the uh, applicant investigated the possibility of doing uh, uh, a right-of-way with the neighbors so that this is sewer hookup instead of uh, septic? I'm not aware if they've had discussions with the neighbor with regards to that. They would need an easement through the neighboring property to get access to the main that's there. And I suppose that's something that could happen um, at any time. Um, there may be some resistance to, to providing that because of the impact on the property down below. Because it basically, it doesn't take away from their actual amount of property, but it does impede their ability to develop fully on their property sometimes, okay. depending on their setbacks and where it's located. Okay. It was just the concern uh, articulated and, and the level of investigation required to make sure that the septic tank didn't add <coughs> and the septic field didn't add to the uh, groundwater issues. So I was just wondering if that other alternative had been explored. It, it's our understanding <coughs> typically the cost of installing an on-site system is such that getting an easement through a neighboring property and bringing a line up is probably a break even if not a savings in, in many locations. It, it does depend upon the length and, and other things but you do have a bit of a surety when you have a connection to the city system that it will never fail on you. It will always work. Okay. Thank you. Strength. Any other questions or comments? Seeing none, then I'll call the question. All those in favor? Those opposed? Seeing none, motion is carried.